G'day friends and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today we're going to be discussing something that has a lot to do with my ongoing commitment to actually get this office done right for YouTube and for actually anything video related. Now we're going to talk about a little piece of equipment that I cannot do without. It's actually quite important. It's my passport. Now not your travel passport but this one here. So if you want to hear about this and how it gets me out of trouble, well then stick around. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want. You're the one I trust. And I always be and welcome back. Now, this guy is the X-Ride Color Checker Passport. I found out about this little device on DSLR Video Shooter. Caleb knows his stuff. And if you're ever looking for a channel to learn everything about video and lighting and audio, he's the right guy. So check out the link to his channel on my video. Now, he told me all about this particular device. Now, I'm going to give you a little sample of how I use it. Obviously, it's to color grade or even, you know, just make sure that your white balance is actually done correctly. Now, this little device is foldable, so you can actually put it away and stick it in your bag. It's quite cool. It's actually got three different uh, areas. It's got that particular part, and then it's actually got this part here. Uh, that will help you do your white balance. Now, I find it so valuable because I can just put it in my bag and forget about it. And any time that I feel that the lighting conditions are right or I'm too rushed and I can't work out my white balance correctly uh, on the fly, I can use this to help me color grade it after the fact, but also put a good point of reference in the video in case I'm color, um, color grading at a later stage. So this is pretty good. It actually gets me out of trouble. Now in this environment, uh, obviously it's a brand new uh, setup and I really haven't had the chance to um, white balance the cameras correctly. I haven't uh, had a chance to properly set the lighting in order to give me the right conditions. So I use this little passport tool in order to get me out of trouble. And it's just as easy uh, in any um, editing software to actually use that to get the white balance. Now to use this little device, it's quite easy. It's small and compact and you can put it in your bag or your back pocket. Uh, it's very, very convenient. The first use I have for it is to help me set the custom white balance when I'm out in the field and I really don't know if the white balance is set correctly depending on the different lighting conditions. I'll pull this little sucker out and then I'll take a picture of it and in my M50 I will adjust the white balance using the photograph that I've taken. Now that is good to set your custom white balance. On the other side too, it does have all these color squares. Now those are to be more precise in post-production when you're trying to get the colors right, especially if it's a tricky scene. So when you're out in the field, put this on a table and take some footage of it. That way you'll have the colors recorded and then you'll be able to do some pretty accurate color correction. Now this particular device is one of the most expensive ones. It actually comes uh, with a guarantee that it's actually pretty accurate and um, and because uh, you can actually close it and sort of lock it away from any sunlight like a little passport um, the color sh inside the little squares uh, should be protected from any fading for quite a period of time so you'll have accurate color uh, on this little device um, for as long as you look after and then take care of it. So it's quite handy to use. Like I said, I'll put a link down below uh, to Caleb's video so you can actually see how he uses it, but it's actually become really invaluable in my kit. So if you are looking for something to hold up while you're filming or for your talent to hold up in order for you to get your white balance and your colors, have a look at this one. This is the X-Rite 
color checker passport and I don't think you can go wrong like I said it's very small and convenient so that was it that is a little bit of tech I wanted to talk to you this year we're going to do a lot more videos but they're going to be short and sweet so I'll put the link uh, to this particular little item uh, below so you can find it uh, and if you have any questions about how I use it please let me know in the comment section below so until the next time ciao for now